So for a long time, long time, I used to be very strong on three ways, okay? I would, you know, I would say to my wife, whoever the wife was at the time, I'd say, you know, we need to spice this up, darling. And we'd bring in a third person. And eventually that third person would become the second person and the then wife would become lonely, ugly, divorced person that I would never talk to without lawyers present. And so I've always been strong, very in favor, you can look in my record, very in favor of three ways. And that's why I'm very proud today, very strong, and you know, you know how my endorsements are strong. But they say, they say, every time they say, when, when Trump endorsed this person, he was a nobody. In some cases, they were fat, dumpy people like Rhonda Suckers. And then Trump, the Trump endorsement. A lot of, excuse me, a lot of people say it's the, the most valuable political weapon. In my opinion, the most valuable political weapon is a strong white trash with Second Amendment. But uh, after that, a Trump endorsement right there in a close second place. And I am proud to endorse no labels, soon to be candidate, leathery Joe Manchin, a Democrat who's basically a Republican from West Virginia, under his leadership as a governor and senator in West Virginia. So many people in West Virginia have lost jobs and teeth, the ability to read, and a lot of things. So we like what he's done in West Virginia, and we're hoping when he runs, they're already saying in polls that if Leathery Joe gets in against Sleepy Joe, leather, you know, rock, paper, scissors, well, in this case, leather beats Sleepy. And I look forward to Leathery Joe doing strong third party disruption. And like the three ways I used to have, I think he's going to do enough to knock Sleepy Joe out. And then guess what? It's called President Trump.